Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this channel, you will find a lot of tips and tricks across all the topics in math. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. So in today's video, we are going to do IMO SOF class 6. So this is a math olympiad sample papers. I have already made two more videos about it. Already eight questions are already done. You can refer that. The link is given below in the description or you can simply click on the I button given above. So let's see the first question for today. Jay is selling candy bars. He has chocolate bars, nut bars and mint bars. If a customer buys two bars and the bars are not of same types, then how many different combinations are possible? So as I have always told you, whenever you have a word problem, break that into small parts. So Jay is selling candy bars. So he's going to sell some candy bars. We don't know how many candy bars he is selling. So what all the types of bars he have? He has a chocolate bar, he has a nut bar and mint bar. So he has three types of bars which are chocolate bars, nut bars and mint bars. So if a customer buys two bars, so he's going to buy any two bars, but the bars are not of the same type. So they are not of the same types. So they are two different varieties of chocolates. So then how many different combinations are possible? So we have a chocolate bar, we have a nut bar and we have a mint bar. So we have three types of bars. So in that a customer is buying only two. So what are all the possible outcome which can a customer can buy? So if he's going to buy a chocolate bar, he will buy a nut bar with it. Or he will buy a chocolate bar and mint bar. So these are the two varieties with chocolate. Now if he is going to buy a nut and a mint. So chocolate and nut, chocolate and mint and nuts and mint. So is there any other combination? Mint and nut it's already there. Mint and chocolate it's already there. Nut and chocolate it's already so though. How many combinations are possible? One, two and three. So there are three combinations possible. So here are the options given to us. And the right answer is 3. So isn't it very easy? Break the sentences into parts and see what are the combinations possible. If you found this video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. And do not forget to click on the like button. Now let's see the second question for today. Shima can type 28 words per minute. At this rate, how many words can Shima type in 5.5 minutes? So that is 5 minutes and 50 seconds. So as usual, break the sentences. Shima can type 28 words per minute. In one minute, she's going to type 28 words. So if she's going to type at the same speed rate, so how many words she can type in 5.5 minutes? So the options given to us is 154, 157, 159 and 162. So, so many words. So let's see which is the right answer. So Shima can type in one minute, she can type 28 words. So how much words can she type in 5.5 minutes? So what we will do, we will just multiply 28 times 5.5. So this will be usual long multiplication as we do. So when we multiply these two, we get it as 154.0. So since there is a point and then there is a zero, so this will not count. So the answer, right answer is 154 words. So she's going to type 154 words. So one minute she's going to type 28 words, so 5.5. So whenever you multiply with a decimal, Directly you multiply 22, 28 times 55, you get answer as 1540. Then since it's after one digit, you put a point after one digit. Isn't it easy? If you found this video interesting, 
click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos and do not forget to click on the like button. Now let's see the third question for today. At a school there are 704 desks to place in 22 classroom. If the equal number of desks are placed in each classroom then how many desks in each classroom? So as usual as I always tell you break the sentences into small parts. So at a school there are how many desks? There are right there are 704 desks to place in 22 classrooms. So we have 704 desks which has to be placed in 22 classrooms. So if each classroom have equal number of desks whenever it is given as equal number of desks then how many desks in each classroom? Whenever this type of a question comes, whenever the word each classroom, each comes, you just have to divide. So we have to divide 704 divided by 22. So we have our options. Now let's see which is the right answer. We have to do the long division. I hope you all remember the long division. 704 divided by 22. So this would be 3 times where we get 66 and then we subtract. So here we have 4, 44. So we have a 2 here which is 44 and there is no remainder. So 32 desk would be placed. So the right answer is 32. So here again it's on option A, 32. So 32 desks are placed in each classroom. If you found this video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. And do not forget to click on the like button. Now, let's see the fourth question for today. A vessel has 5 liters 20 ml of orange juice. How many glass each of 40 ml capacity? can be filled with it. So as I always tell you, let's break the sentences. A vessel has 5 liters and 20 ml of orange juice. So we have 5 liters and 20 ml. Each glass have 40 ml capacity. So one glass can hold 40 ml, 40 milliliters. So how many glasses can be filled with 5 liters and 20 ml? So the options given to us are 122, 130, 118 and 128. So let's see how to solve it. So let's convert the liters to milliliters first. So I think you all know the conversion. So 1 liter equals how many milliliter? Right. 1 liter equals 1000 milliliters. So 5 liter equals how much? Right. It's 5000 milliliters and already we have a 20 milliliters so far. So 5 liters and 20 ml that is milliliters will give us 5020 milliliters. So now we have 5020 milliliters of orange juice. One glass can hold 40 milliliters. So one glass will hold one glass is equal to 40 milliliters. So now we, how do we find for 5020 milliliters? So what can be done? It has to be equally divided. So we have to divide. Right. So we have to divide 5020 divided by 40. So whenever we have zeros at the end, I have already told in my tips and tricks of multiplication and division to how to divide whenever we have zeros at the end. So I hope you remember that. So, if you have not seen that video, the link is given in the description or you can simply click on the I button given above. So, I will again explain you whenever we have a division like this, you can cross out the last digit. So, now it is easy for us to divide 502 divided by 4. It is a regular long division. So, the answer would be 128. So, 128 glasses can be filled with 5020 milliliters. So, the right answer is the D option which is 128. 
Isn't it easy? So whenever we have a question like this, convert the liters also to milliliters because the glass can hold in milliliters. So it is easy for us to divide. So I hope this method was easy for you to understand. If you found this video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. And do not forget to click the like button. And thank you for watching till the end.